All right, for you comic book fans out there, I've got a lot of eight comic books all going out to one lucky bidder out there. I'm going to walk you through them now. Because we have bidders coming in from just all over the world, um, all over the country, we sadly can't have you here in the uh, studio with us. We'd love to have you here in the gallery to look at each one of those, uh, look at it, check it out, make sure it's exactly what you want. Since that's not possible uh, through the internet, I'm going to do the next best thing. So the way we do that is to show you each of the items here. I'm going to zoom in on each of these and show you exactly what you are going to be getting. So the first thing that we do is we show you the light shining off of the cover right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to pop out any kind of uh, any kind of flaws, imperfections. We're looking for any kind of creases, wrinkles, scrapes, scratches, etc. See this is a that time, I think this still would have designated a newsstand copy, but you should do your own research. We check all the way here. You can see a little bit of a bend. You can see some stress in and around the spine. All around, pretty good book. So we'll flip it over onto the back, and we'll do more of the same. Now it's a white cover on the back, mostly um, around the edges, so it makes it difficult to see. But I'm going to do the best job that we can here. And as always, we do this in HD so that you can go back and take a look. I want to do it quickly for your sake so that you get an opportunity to see it, but I don't want to take up too much of your time. And then finally, what we will do is uh, show the cover here. I'm sorry, not the cover, but the interiors as well. Why do we do that? Well, uh, what you say is cream or off-white or... Uh, uh, um, very white pages, whatever it may be, uh, that may be different than what I might look at it. I might say, oh, that's uh, that's off-white, and you might say, no, that's brilliant white. Um, why take my word for it? You can take a look at the pages yourself, see what's going on, know what's happening, and, uh, and make your own judgment call. After all, you're going to be the one who's bidding on this, taking it home and enjoying it, giving it a brand new home. You want to make sure that it's the right fit. So there you have it. We're going to do that for each of these comics, give you an idea of what you're going to be buying, and hopefully uh, it'll be near the experience that you would have if you were here with the gallery. So that's the first one. That's Adventures of Superman number 552. This is an all-Superman lot in this particular case. All eight comic books are going to be some super... Man, this is number 500, part of the uh, Back from the Dead after the whole Funeral for a Friend saga, after the whole Doomsday issues and all the other spy uh supermans uh this is the first one where he is back little schmutz on the cover right here you can see it's that little bit right there and then you have a little bend on this corner but overall not too too bad the square brown book so that helps um, oftentimes, it's less likely that these are going to get uh, spine ticks when it is there. Unless Johnny took it home from the newsstand and then just folded it in half. Pocket. I'll show you the back. Nice dark cover there, so you can see a little bit of a uh, little bit of waviness near that part of the spine, but otherwise, pretty good. Now we'll show you quality and condition of the pages. Look like a Wolverine shot right there. So there you have it. That is Adventures number 500. Part of the funeral for a friend, you have Superman number 77. This is part of the uh, world without Superman. As we start to deal with the aftermath of Doomsday. Yeah, so you're seeing a little bit of stress. I like the fact that it's got that nice black background that may, or a border that makes it real, real easy to see all the way along the uh, sides and the trim. Really pops out any of those spine ticks right there that you're seeing. That's pretty good. They uh, wrecked. Flip it over here. 
And you'll see a bit of this going on right there. Beautiful Double Dragon 3 add. And of course, some damage bottom right there. Let's take a look at the quality and condition of the pages. See in it? As we move right along here to number 537 of Adventures of Superman. A little bit of issues right here, as you can see. Wear along the spine. Not the worst, but not the best. Quite a few ticks there. Other side, eh, you know, it, you can tell, you can tell it's been handled. Some kid had his grubby hands on it, and that's fine. That means that somebody got a chance to read it. I'm glad that happened, but as a collector, that's not as good for you. Can it be uh, cleaned and pressed? Absolutely. Is it worth doing it? I don't know. I don't know. It's just a reader. I don't know that it's a, a major, well, it's not a major key. I don't know that it's any kind of minor key. Get some issues. All of which should probably press out okay. Now, Superman in Action Comics number 712 right here. A little bit better of a cover than that last one. Jump right down into it. See here. Oh. Good. We'll flip it over. Batman Forever cover. Interesting that Batman Forever is the one that pretty much wrecked the franchise. <laughs> no more Batman. All after that, you get the little bit bend right here. And we'll zoom out here. Look at quality and condition pages. Have it. Moving on to the trial of Superman. This is the one where he uh, does the combat arena, arena combat. I think it is. We'll, we'll perhaps see in a moment. This one's a much better issue. This is Superman Man of Steel number 50. And real, real nice right there. Nice dark cover again to really pop out any kind of issues there might be. Not really seeing much of anything. Maybe a little tick right there. Maybe a tick right there. See some uh, white bend corner. Let's flip it over. See what's going on over here. Demolition Man. Oh, what a great movie. By great, I mean terrible, but so much fun to watch. Good, and again, the same. So on the other side, comes through here. I'll show you a quality and condition of the pages. Again, with, is that Parasite? And there you go. Bottle City of Candor right here makes an appearance in Superman, The Man of Steel, number 36. It's a brighter cover, so it's a little bit tougher to see. So I'll take just a little bit more time with this one. We'll do our wiggle jiggle. It'll bounce that light back and forth off of it. See, you might not be able to see it all that well. I'll try to point it out. Scuffs, little bends along the spine. Couple right in here. A little minor dents to the cover. Flip it over. Terrible movie. It's on uh well, based on those the shorts on MTV, which were not terrible, the movie might be better. I, I only saw bits of it, but we needed to see. And then we will Hopefully zoom out, there we go, and show you quality and condition of these pages.
Look at that. The Virtual Boy remembers that. And then finally, last comic in this particular batch of fun Superman pieces. This is uh, The Adventures of Superman number 45. One of the better ones in the batch. Two issues, some creases here and there. Not creases, but fine ticking, some stress right in there. Corner's looking pretty good. There, and I want you to see fingerprint, a smudge perhaps. Nothing else along that cover. Back cover as well. And that ought to do it. We'll flip it over one more time here. See, uh, those of you who love these things, I'll even give you a moment until you can find the sailboat. Test to them. And that is to do it. Head on over to thebigtoyauction.com. You're going to get all eight of these with one bid, one money, one lot. All eight of these. You can see individual covers as we have those photoed in the uh, catalog. You can leave your pre-bids right now. The auction is live. And then on the live close it, clothing, <laughs> closing, you'll be able to uh, defend your bids in real time against everybody else trying to get these away from you. Don't let them. Uh, make sure that you are there to defend your bids and enhance your chance of getting all eight of these comics into your collection. We look forward to seeing you at the auction.